we'll do that. Mm. Yeah, sure. We'll do devs. I feel like devs would be real good for this. Just getting way ahead. into the deep end. Go ahead and explain to my grandmother if she finds this on YouTube that uh, it's just marijuana. It yep. just looks like a more hardcore drug. Right. And my parents will freak out. <laughs> Yeah, I've never done one of these completely by myself. I've always had someone who looks like family. Yeah. yeah. I was terrified of it for the first, like, yeah. six months. I don't know if the camera can even hear me over a torch. But for the first, like, six months that I worked in a dispensary, like, they would try to give me hash oil to take home and try, and I'd be like, I'm all right. Yeah. And I was, like, so paranoid about burning myself. Yeah. I just told them I wasn't interested. <laughs> it looks like you're going to get your phone with that thing. Yeah, like, I'm always afraid I'm going to melt my damn phone with the yeah with the blowtorch. Blow yeah. Okay, be careful not to touch the metal. <laughs> Who Let's knew that was, that was some healing? That was something we'd have to worry about with legalized weed. Indeed. Yeah, don't break yourself on this. All right. Yeah, he'll cough for <laughs> the next five minutes, and then we'll see where it goes from there. So the first, <coughs> yeah. let's see what the first question for you was here. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to ask you while you're recovering. <coughs> oh, it's like weed just fucked my throat. Oh, man. Um, were you there the night that I, I gave a dab to <coughs> Chris Boatwright, and then he was recovering, <coughs> coughing, or like coughing like crazy oh. trying to recover from the hit. And he, fell he, <laughs> he walked out of the room we were smoking in and walked down the hallway and I was like, Chris, Chris, and then he just walks into the fucking comedy show. While he's coughing and like, <laughs> just walks in the middle of the audience and it just completely fucking stops the show. You look like you're about to pass out, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> <sighs> but Chris, he was so fucked up from the hit that he just didn't really realize where he was and just wandered into the middle of the fucking show. Oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah, that's fine. It's so, a can of butane. our friend Benjamin Tier, uh -huh. this is his question. It's, it's oddly worded. Nathan right. looks really good considering he sounds like he only ever uses marriage for screaming into and doing cocaine. So, why? Which I interpreted as meaning, why do, why I do you still look good? Even why do though, I still look good? Even yeah. though you sound, which I don't understand this, you sound like you don't use mirrors to look at yourself. And I have trouble with the word mirror. Does that sound weird? Mirror. It seems like I wouldn't use mirrors. Hmm. Yeah, except for screaming. And doing cocaine. And doing cocaine. And right. doing cocaine. Right. So, right. I guess um, the question is, how do you manage? How do I manage? Yeah. Despite, despite the way I sound, how do I manage <laughs> to look good? Yeah. It's just good genes, probably. Yeah. Right. Um, when I was fourteen, I went on uh, this uh, acne drug that was made for uh, a cancer cure. Oh, actually. really? It was called Accutane. It's been discontinued because of all the fucked up side effects it gives you. Accutane. I remember that name. That it like makes people kill themselves and shit. Shit. Okay. Yeah. So they stopped. They oh, stopped giving. It to okay. People. I definitely remember Accutane then. Yeah. And, yeah. Because um, I remember somebody that I went to high school with who had bad acne being like, "It's worth it," I think. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing. When it's that bad and you're 14, yeah. and like all of a sudden hormones are a thing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, okay, maybe this is worth it. And I, so that's realistically that's probably the only reason I look okay. I did uh, Proactive before it became mm -hmm. like a Britney Spears commercial sort of company. Like yeah. before it became the famous yeah. uh, anti-zip thing. That worked out alright. But that's the answer. So that's for Bentier. Mm -hmm. Accutane it's drugs. is the answer. Yeah, yeah. drugs. Yeah, the answer but is drugs. Not I also I started taking vitamins. And I feel oh, really yeah. good about it. Like recently? Yeah, like re real re like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I feel really good about it. Do you, do you feel good because of the vitamins or you just feel good about... The fact the that I'm a guy who takes vitamins now? Yeah, I don't know. I, you know, realistically, I can't exactly tell you. <laughs> but, that is true. But does it matter? No, I guess you're right. It doesn't yeah. matter. If taking them makes me feel good, I guess the vitamins are working. So I guess since it is the first episode, we'll describe exactly what this will be like. It's going to be two comics getting high and then very quickly, within about 10 to 15 minutes, trying to paint portraits of each other to see how ridiculous it comes out. Um... I liked when I mentioned this to Andrew Kushner, he was like, but I'm not a good painter, man. And I'm like, yeah, I'm only looking for comics who know how to paint. <laughs> <laughs> like, Dylan Jenkins would be the only person who could fucking... Uh -huh. Yeah, I've never painted a damn... I want it to look ...portrait bad. at all. <laughs> it's gonna. <laughs> okay, let's see. Alright, let's see. Uh, 
apologize to my parents once again for doing this on camera. They will bring it up. Do you think that that preemptive strike is gonna keep them from bringing it up? <laughs> Maybe now that um, well, when I was like 24, somehow my parents found a video of me on YouTube getting high with my friends and making a rap video, like a silly, stupid rap video, mm -hmm. and they went <clears throat> ballistic. Like, well, you know, I was videotaping myself doing illegal shit and putting it on YouTube. It wasn't <laughs> the best. All right, let's, um, <clears throat> let's ask you the next question, and then we will get started on the painting. Okay. This is from <clears throat> Heather Chet McGowan. It's my favorite thing in the world that... That's, I speak hyperbolically all the time. This is not my favorite thing in the world at all. But I love that Heather McGowan made her Facebook name Chet just as like a nickname. And now everybody that brings her up on stage calls her Chet McGowan. No matter how yeah. many times she goes, well, my name is Heather McGowan. But, you, you know, it's just a nickname. So, from Heather, she's asking for your Shit. third favorite album. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Did I, did I break it? Or did, no, you're good. did it need broken? <laughs> like the hardest part is like phasing it out as being like first, second, third. Yeah, for sure. I don't like I don't know how to answer it because it's such an insane question. No idea. I think Dillinger Four is Civil War for music. I guess. I guess. I I, I guess I'll put two other things in front of that, but I don't know how to do like, that. Yeah, two don't others. Really listen to albums for the most part. Oh, that's true. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> um, if I had to like. Two albums popped into my head before this one, so I would say my third favorite album is Desire by Bob Dylan, mm -hmm. which is like one of those albums that nobody ever fucking seems to know or like give a shit about. It's not one of his famous ones, but I like it a lot. It's what I, uh -huh. when I like first took Mushrooms when I was 18, that's what I listened to in an attic. So I think it'll stick with me. Um, looks like I forgot Ooh. those little water cups, actually. Let me grab those very quickly. Okay, then we'll... <laughs> I know I forgot something. Alright, here's that. Let's see. I don't know how you do stuff. I definitely am going to outline you with a pen first. Before I try to paint... Oh, com yeah, the comedy album thing. Is there is there a comedian or album you remember really being into when you were younger? Like, what, what made you give a shit about this stuff? If there's a person that did. Um, well, I started listening to. I didn't. I wasn't really that into comedy for a long time, but I I liked uh, Mitch Hedberg and George Carlin when I was like a, a little kid. But they were the, just the only ones that I, I saw for a while. Oh, I got you. Mitch. So Hed yeah, Mitch Hedberg for some reason is like the comic that every. I don't know. Doing that. Um, was that at the Fun House where I got the doing somebody else's jokes mm -hmm. challenge, and I did Mitch Hedberg. That was like the most fun I've ever had on stage. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to do some famous comedian's jokes while you're wearing a wig and just sunglasses and just pretending to be him for five minutes. Okay, actually I found a picture of Nathan with spaghetti coming out of his nose, I think it is. <laughs> oh wait, no it's not. No. But it looks like it. Yeah, I know. It's weird. I'm gonna start drawing you now. You got five minutes to do the outline and then five minutes to, to add color to it. That's what we're going to do. All right. Come oh, on. I wasn't supposed to drink that water, was I? Oh, you drank it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was for your paintbrush. <laughs> we'll just share this one then. <laughs> That's good. I can't wait to go back and watch the video and see the moment that you just are listening to me just drinking the fucking water. Okay. I want you to remember that nothing I do here is supposed to be an insult. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm going for realism. I don't know if it'll work. <laughs> I say as I do the most cartoonish nose you can do. Now it is, you're a good first guest here because you've got in this picture the nice like defining characteristics like the mohawk. It's going to be easy to do. Get Alex Avery in here some time to do this and see what he can come up with in five minutes. <laughs> I shouldn't have glanced over there. I meant to not look at yours until you were done. Let's see, what was the next question? Uh, oh, McCartan Ackerman wanted to know uh, what kind of underwear you wear. Uh, right now, I'm just, uh, I mean, I haven't done laundry in a while. <laughs> 
So. This is a roundabout way to say I'm, nothing. I'm, I'm free balling. <laughs> moment. So but fun. usually <laughs> boxer briefs. All right, you don't actually have buck teeth, but I can see your teeth in this picture, so I'm putting them in there. You look like a 70 year old woman, and what I've done so far. <laughs> I think I drew a potato. <laughs> Try to really get your essence here. Oops. <laughs> I accidentally like gave you like a frilly old English collar. Like a like an aristocrat would have. It was supposed to be a hoodie. <laughs> you look like fucking Madeline Albright or some shit. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Okay, uh, well, let's compare. Uh, yeah. Right now. Go ahead. ahead. Alright. See. <laughs> <laughs> um, this this reminds me of two things really. First, <laughs> of that thing from Ghostbusters. Uh, the the weird blobby ghost thing. Yeah. And then also, I don't know if you guys did this in uh, in elementary school, but in first grade they had us draw self portraits. And then at the end of the year, after they taught us stuff, like, draw them again to see how horrible <laughs> we were at the first one of time. So, this is mine here, of Nathan. Like I said, I accidentally gave you, like, a frilly aristocrat collar. Hold that up for this camera as well. It, yeah. It looks more like you than that looks like me. Alright, now let's reset. Five minutes to uh, to color it in. <laughs> Is that a mustache, by the way? Yes. <laughs> that was the first thing I drew. Uh, I was gonna say earlier the the album I remember getting like obsessed with in fifth or sixth grade. I guess I think I saw it on Comedy Central was Afros and Bell Bottoms by Sinbad. And like I've watched <laughs> other comedy of his, it's not like bad, but it doesn't like hit me the same way that does, but when I was like a 10 year old, that was the funniest thing I'd ever seen in my life. I don't know why I had you sleeping in my... <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I always wanted blue hair. I couldn't, uh, when I would, one time I tried to bleach my hair, so I could, when I was like 16, so then I could dye it blue, and it just turned into this like dark orange, like horrific mess and it hurt like shit I don't know if I didn't do it right if bleaching your hair is supposed to hurt your scalp that bad <laughs> but I decided I wasn't gonna try it again <laughs> I accidentally made you a Simpson I think I tried to make your eyes look open by putting pupils over your eyelids and it just looks like when they <laughs> like in Game of Thrones or something where they just paint <laughs> Eyeballs on somebody's eyelids for the afterlife. That's what the fuck this looks like. Yeah, you definitely look like a corpse that has been painted up inappropriately for its funeral. My famous Brad. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, it's, it's more of a grayish, right? We got 20 like seconds. I'm just gonna sign this. My initials, and I am done. Well, I couldn't even paint your name. <laughs> <laughs> I th everybody will know that's me. <laughs> okay, now let's uh, let's present our portraits to wrap up the uh, the inaugural. I have no clue what we're gonna call this podcast, by the way. I was gonna call it uh, Cool Face Bro, but then that's like some right wing blogger, and I was <laughs> like, no, I don't want to be wrapped up with that. So, so there's Nathan Hart. Like I said, it looks like your pupils have been painted on over your dead eyelids to make you <laughs> look more alive. But yep, there's Nathan. I'm going to hold it up for this camera as well. And, and uh... <laughs> I, I, I think I, I painted... <laughs> painted a monster. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what this is. <laughs> this is here real quick. Let's see. How's that? A good comparison shot. <laughs> All right. All right. And that wraps up, I think, the first uh, the first of whatever this will be called. Great. All right. We did it. Indeed. Oh, fuck. Whew.
I can't wait. I'm really gonna like frame all these once I get like a series of them going. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good lord. What do you think of yourself? Whoops. <laughs> this looks a lot better than mine does. Is that still rolling? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs>